Welcome to a new TechView Vlog and I'm vlogging here with my new Sony Xperia 10 Mark II device in sunny Auckland, New Zealand. It's getting autumn here actually so it is not so warm here, 15 degrees uh, circa uh, Celsius which is a bit of cool so I'm happy that the sun is coming out to warm me up a bit. Uh, this is the front-facing um, camera that I'm using right now, 8 megapixels. It only supports 1080p Full HD with 30 frames per second. And I'm using, as you can see, I have my microphone plugged in. I'm using the open camera application because Sony's camera application does still not support external microphones. And I can switch to the Sony uh, camera app in a bit to let you know how it will sound like but I'm pretty sure you will not like it uh, because mm, the surroundings, the, the audio of the surroundings, if you want to hear some birds chirping or something like this, then may, maybe, but otherwise it is a bit of a distraction. Uh, so this is the front-facing camera test with the Sony Xperia 10 Mark II and um, let's switch to the Sony camera app. So now a video test with the front-facing camera of the Xperia 10 Mark II and the Sony camera application and you will see maybe that it cropped in a bit more because I think it used a different stabilization than open camera uh, which crops in a bit more. So Sony's stabilization usually is pretty good and I think the front-facing stabilization looks pretty good. I'm just walking normally here through this uh, park of the uh, Auckland University campus and yeah i think the quality is quite okay but the audio quality is the bumper the big big problem right now it's pretty quiet no one is running around here in the park and you can see here hdr effect is it working uh, i think it is a bit blown out sony has problems with hdr uh, front-facing camera test with the native sony application and now a camera test with the back-facing camera, the main camera, to show you what I use for vlogging. So this is the distance I had for the selfie vlogging test. And I think I will use this stick as well for testing out my back cameras for vlogging as well. You know, you can use back cameras for vlogging as well. You just have to twist around, <laughs> turn around the phone and then it will work as well. Uh, this is, by the way, if you're wondering what this is, this is a Xiaomi uh, one, uh, which also supports uh, Bluetooth here. You have the key, you have a light, and you can trigger this button, the shutter button, for video recording or um, photo shooting. Via Bluetooth you can pair it to your device if you'd like to. And so you can start and stop uh, the recording. I will use it, uh, this as well, for the next recordings, I think. One thing that I forgot to mention with the Sony app, you have the option to zoom by clicking here. This is a two times zoom and it's switching to the different lens. You can see some birds there. I can try digitally zooming in as well. It's not so smooth and I think it's over sharpening a lot. This is 7.5 times zoom. This is 10, 5, 10 times zoom with the native Sony application, but it gets a bit jittery, I think. So I think the 7.5 times zoom is still pretty stable. Mm. Just tell me in the comments what you think about this quality. And of course I can also go to the ultra wide. Either I have to tap here for the zooming and then tap again for the ultra wide. And you can see it works also while I'm recording. Or I can just simply zoom in one time and zoom out. See it's a bit jittery for some reason. This went better. Ah, it's a bit jittery when it comes to zooming out to the ultra wide. But you get the idea. It's working also when recording something but it is using full HD 30 frames per second only. Uh, let me check if 60 frames per second also works. So now I'm at 60 frames per second. I can zoom in here on those flowers, two times zoom, but I cannot zoom out to the ultra wide. A bummer. 
now this is 4k video will be cropped to 1080p i think but i want to show you that this is stabilized interestingly enough at least if you record in 30 frames per second and i can zoom in which is just a crop on the main sensor can zoom in further if I, if I want to but you can see uh, the quality degrades and this is now eight times and it's a bit of stuttery as well 6.5 times zoom two times and back to one time probably not so, this is a recording test with the Sony Xperia 10 Mark II using the main camera on the back of the camera. Default settings 1080p 30 frames per second, video stabilization turned on, no microphone attached even though I have a microphone here, but it doesn't work unfortunately in the Sony application and you can see you probably hear the wind, you probably have problems uh, hearing my voice because there is no option to attach the external microphone and use it with the Sony application. If you know of a way, of a trick, somehow to trick the Sony application to use the external microphone, just tell me. I didn't find any options. All the applications that tend to say, yeah, I can switch the audio for input, they don't work for some reason. You can see I'm walking around here in sunny Auckland. The sun is shining on me. It is autumn here, so not springtime or summertime like in the rest of the world. And uh, I'm walking in the Albert Park and you might see behind me the sky tower of Auckland. And uh, yeah, that is uh, basically it for this test. And um, yeah, enjoy springtime. Two times zoom. I think the focus is working. Ultra wide has no autofocus, so we cannot focus. And the one time I can go into macro mode basically with the one time main sensor. <laughs> 